Today on reaching the school students were surprised to see so many tents there Meanwhile the teacher also reached there Teacher why do we have tents in our school today who is going to come Today doctors will be coming to our school Is the doctor going to inject us I am too scared No no Sohan doctor is coming for a general examination General examination what is that A general examination is done to find out if the body is healthy or not and to check that all the nutrients in our body are in balanced amount or not In the previous class we read about protein carbohydrate and fat there are some more nutrients in the body such as vitamins and minerals we will find out more about this from the doctor they will also tell us what damage can be caused to your body by the deficiency of these important nutrients today after the first period we will be meeting the doctor all the children eagerly went to their class Good morning madam How are you all We are yeah, good, good ma'am So today we will examine you all in general Come in a queue to get your check up done First you will get your height and weight checked Then the other doctor will check your teeth and eyes Finally I will do a general examination of all of you All the children started going to the counter one by one in a line for their checkup. As soon as the checkup was done for all, the doctor teacher asked everyone to sit in a circle. Children, do you all know how to keep our body healthy? Yes, doctor. Teacher, we should keep our body clean and eat a balanced diet. Absolutely right. So who will tell what a balanced diet is? Doctor teacher, balanced diet means that all types of nutrients should be present in our food like protein, fat and carbohydrates. It is absolutely right Sohan and along with it it is very important to have some other elements in our food too like vitamins and minerals. Doctor teacher What are vitamins and minerals? Vitamins and minerals are some of the ingredients found in food that protect our body from many diseases. If we do not consume food containing these nutrients, we will become prone to many diseases. Such diseases which are caused by the deficiency of vitamins or minerals are called deficiency diseases. Children, come on. Are you all ready to play a game with me now? Game. Wow, it will be great fun. Now we will learn about vitamins and minerals from this game. All of you sit down in a circle. Now I will give you some puzzle pieces of four pictures. All of you have to complete the pictures by joining the right pieces together. One vitamin is hidden in each picture. If you complete the puzzle by adding the right pieces then you will know about different types of vitamins. All the children started adding pieces of the picture puzzle with great enthusiasm. Some here and some there. After adding the pieces finally everyone completed the puzzle. Oh wow! You all solved all the picture puzzles very easily. Will you now tell everyone one by one what is in your picture? Everyone looked at their pictures one by one. All the pictures had a lot of information about vitamins. Now one by one you all will give information about your vitamin in the picture. I have vitamin A. Vitamin A protects the eyes. The sources of vitamin A are carrot, milk, fish, etc. Look, I have a picture of vitamin B. We get vitamin B from a few food items. Vitamin B deficiency affects the functioning of the brain. It comes mostly from eggs, 
milk and grains look i have a picture of vitamin c it protects us from many diseases like cold we mostly get it from fruits such as orange and guava Vitamin D's poster was with the teacher. Which picture do you have, ma'am? Vitamin D. It helps to strengthen our bones and teeth. We get it from the sunlight, milk, and milk products. If the weather is good, then we should spend at least half an hour under the sun. Children. What have you learned from Dr. Didi today? Teacher, we learned that having nutrients in our food is very important for the growth of our body and protection from diseases. And we also learned that if all these nutrients are not present in our food, then due to the lack of them, we can get affected by diseases such as weak eyes due to the deficiency of vitamin A. Vitamin B's deficiency affects the brain and can imbalance it. Vitamin C protect us from diseases and vitamin D is very important for the protection of our bones. Very good children and diseases caused by lack of any nutrient in the diet are known as deficiency diseases. This information is very important. I will go home and tell everyone. At this time the lunch bell rang and all the children left to have their lunch. <laughs>